We're tasting a whole new batch of foods turned inside out. Let's talk about that. Mythical morning. A few months ago, we discovered that the mythical kitchen can indeed mm. turn foods inside out. When we tasted a bunch of foods turned inside out. And we also found out that though they can indeed, it doesn't mean that they should indeed. Indeed. But it was so much fun. It was, it was. So we asked them to turn food inside out again. Not the same foods though, because then they would just be back to the way they were. Right. New foods. Yeah. Are you ready for the most anticipated sequel since Forrest Gump 2? It's time for Inside Out Foods. Okay, starting with pizza. That's a regular pizza link. That's a that's right side a, out pizza. That's just a Domino's pizza. Just dominating the the field of view. How do you turn a pizza inside out? Lily, how do you turn a Domino's pizza inside out? Well, we went with a pepperoni crust. Like and that. <laughs> you have cheese, uh, pizza sauce, and garlic butter pepperonis. Dough. Garlic butter pepperonis? Oh my Quote gosh. unquote, because they're yeah, dough. Yeah, because they're, they're dough. Mm -hmm. It's Brit. So, now, can I, I, I gotta cut it. Can I? No, are you allowed to use a knife like this? No, there's. <laughs> uh, give it a cut. So the bigger the bigger thing in the middle is just a slab of cheese. Yeah, just shredded mozzarella. And I shouldn't say just. Say, wow, is that all that I've ever hoped for? That's, which is a big pile of cheese. That's the attitude I like. <laughs> Lily likes a little attitude. A positive attitude. I'm oh, gonna God. put this right here. How do I pick this up? I don't know. If you have a what I've got, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so there's just if you look at the whole bottom of it, it's just pepperonis. I'm not looking at it, I'm eating it. Mm. Well, I can imagine it would be a little bit messy if I was eating it with my hands. But of course I'm not. I think this is the type of piece that justifies using a fork. Domino's could totally do this because I love the ratios. As we discovered last time. I love pepperoni. Inside Out Foods, it really is about not just can you, how to eat it, not say, just, that, say that again. You heard me. Not just can you can it's not how just you eat about it. How, it's not just about can. It's not just about how can you see. It's hard to say. Can how you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's about the ratios, and I love this ratio. Who needs a whole bunch of bread when you can just have just a little, well, just a little bit of bread? Now, from a taste standpoint, you got a point. But from a pizza experience, the dough of the pizza, from a functional standpoint, well, that one didn't even come apart. It's what makes pizza pizza, man. And that's not Little Caesars, it's Domino's. When you get to the point though, right? I can't even hold a pizza. When you get to a point where you're eating pizza that you're like, you know what, I don't want another slice of pizza, but you know what I do want? I want to take everything off of the pizza and just eat that. Yeah, which I gotta say. I've that's been, that's what that's your starting point I've here. I've been meaning it, to talk to you about it's this. splendid. We had a party. Remember the party? It was a small party. It was just four of us, just four <laughs> friends. It, but it was quite a party. And uh, we got pizza. Pretty late at night. Yeah. I mean, we all enjoyed the pizza. Now, the first thing you did when we brought the pizza out is you complained very hard about the pizza. It, you, <laughs> surprise. You were like, where'd you get this pizza from? You and I wasn't a lot being of junk filmed? about it. And you were like, man, this pizza looks horrible. Like, yeah, lots of things. You said lots of things. And then you proceeded to eat the pizza. And then we all began to do other things. And then I went back in there and ha a third of the last pizza was nothing but bread. I left that for you. You just went in there and ate just the toppings and I'm bringing it up right now. I've been saving it for this moment in which you had nothing but toppings in front of you. <laughs> it's so to good. To tell you that you're, you were wrong then and you're wrong now. This it, does not work. It felt good It felt good to party in that way. I do like pepperoni though. So I'm saying that this is a win. Are you with me? It doesn't have to be an improvement on that. It just has to be awesome. And it is. <sighs> well. If I wasn't still having flashbacks from the time that you took a third of the pizza that I was looking so forward to going and eating, not the whole third myself, maybe I would have, I don't know, but I would have eaten the whole pizza, then maybe I would agree with you, but I'm saying in principle, no. <laughs> so pizza inside out, sin, <laughs> is a win, it's a win. Hey, we can, hey we can agree to disagree. What, what The graphic scene will figure it out. 
Let's see what we're gonna turn inside out now. Boba tea. Boba tea. How on Wait. earth? How could they do it, Link? I don't believe y'all could do it. Turn bo I mean, how would you do it? Would you take a big ball of boba and put tea inside of it? Well, okay, hold, let's think about this. Tea inside of boba. Yeah, but what about the glass? <laughs> and then glass inside and then of the glass tea. shards inside of it. Right. Yep. What did you do? Oh, oh God. <laughs> Lily, what, what did you do? Well, you have Thai tea, milk, boba, sweet, gelatinized Thai tea. Oh my gosh. And that is what, like, you are just gonna drink it's syrup? Just, it's just tapioca syrup? Tapioca brown sugar syrup. Yum. So this is this is tea, this thing right here. Yes. This is tea. This, this is really boba tea. And this is tapioca. Tapioca. First, I just wanna eat a little tea, a tea ball. I know, I wanna eat a tea <laughs> ball too. Oh, look at that. It's like superposition. Ooh, it's pungent. That pungency is just coming from the syrup. the syrup that's on it. It's like molasses. Oh my gosh, is that like Cairo? Let's just go for it. <laughs> I remember that stuff, man. Mm. My mama used to put it on pancakes. Dude, how, how are you eating so much syrup? You're gonna be sick. You're gonna be so sick. You're gonna have to eat grass like a dog on a walk. I just got transported to Candyland. <laughs> Dude, you are never coming back. Oh my God, your insides are just gunk now. <laughs> Lily, Damn. you're such a wrong person. <laughs> have you tasted this? Yeah. Woo wee, girl. Woo. Uh. That is. I don't think I just got diabetes. I think I just got diab. <laughs> I got halfway there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if I have more, I'll get the Edie's too. <laughs> so, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna set it right back. Hey, it's pretty good though. And it does taste just like, what did you call it? Cairo? Cairo. Yeah, we called it Cairo. It looked just like Cairo. We called it Cairo syrup. No, it was K-A-R-O. Uh, yeah, now. Didn't look like the Egypt town. You, you just made it with what? Brown so. sugar, a little molasses, yeah. and some tapioca syrup. Molasses. It's pretty nice. It feels like it would be good in much smaller amounts. Now, Lily, you're engaged to marriage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. That's one way of putting it. I hope your man's not watching this because he might have trust issues. Well, I'm not gonna feed that to him. <laughs> you just feed it to us. Yeah. Well, Link. Oh, boba tea, inside out, sin. Well, bam. You know, the Mythical Kitchen, as Lily is demonstrating right now, they're so creative. They do these crazy things with food. Yeah. Well, you know what? Josh wrote a whole cookbook that really just encapsulates that incredible culinary creativity that the Mythical Kitchen embodies on a daily basis. That's right. Okay, so if you want to taste things, that you've seen made on the food, made on the food, made on the show, I'm thinking food on the brain, uh, and you wanna know how to make it exactly like they make it in the Mythical Kitchen, how about some new original recipes that have that mythical creativity that you've never seen before? How about some incredible stories about food and an incredible perspective from how? a really smart, funny guy named Bad. Josh? Well, it's all in the Mythical Cookbook and it's all available for pre-order at mythical.com slash cookbook. Get it, be a part of culinary history. Link. On this side, I have pancakes. Pancakes, okay, so if if I were tasked with turning these inside out. You'd make. I would have, what what would I do? I would the have. The syrup would be in the middle. I'd have the syrup. The syrup is on the top, the syrup would be on the middle. Or the syrup would be on the bottom. On the bottom. And the, the butter would then be. On the inside. The, the pancakes It'd would be, be on, on top. the outside. And then it would just be like, that's an upside down pancake. Yeah. That's probably. That's, that's what she probably did, she just turned really it over. Did. <laughs> Lily, well, sir. you have exceeded our expectations. Okay. So now, uh, before you explain to me what this is, I it kind of looks like you got two butter discs and some batter, and that's a syrup. Syrup became the butter. The butter became the pancake, and the batter became the syrup. Oh. That's right. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious, Lily. 
<laughs> you done it again, Lily. Hey, that so looked, funny. I, I like your I, marriage I, material for somebody. Thank I you. like. <laughs> I like butter. <laughs> That's a lot of butter. Is it just straight butter? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Lily. All right. Here come the Edies. Hold on. <laughs> I, I'm completing I'm completing the circle. <laughs> hey, oh. Oh, oh. I gotta get more of that jelly. <laughs> well, well, that's the butter. You gotta have more of the butter, which is the syrup. Um, well. And the, 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 is the pancake uh, dough, is that just raw dough there? I cooked the pancakes and then I blended it. Make it safe. Yes, oh. I didn't wanna give you raw flour. Food safe. Uh, that's a lot of butter. <laughs> <clears throat> that is a lot of butter. My gullet is coated right now. I mean, when you right pull now. it up, it's just You like, can stick anything down my throat right now. <laughs> it is, my, the whole, my whole, it's so lubed right it, now. Like if you've got It'll like slide a slide like a greased like, up like, it play land. You got like a broomstick or something, like a hammer. <laughs> I mean, I let's TikTok it up, man. A hammer? <laughs> yeah, I, I got a I got a lube throat. If you got something with a handle, let me have it. Lily, <laughs> throw me a hammer. <laughs> Now's my chance. Uh, what about that baby. torch? Let me try that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can get you can, you yeah. can get bend it. over. <laughs> no, well, hey, just, hey, you can't just fight. Man, you're crazy, man. Pointing some fire at somebody's face and pulling the trigger, man. What's wrong with you? Yeah, here's a hammer. I'll do it myself. <laughs> there you I'll go. I'll do it myself, okay? I'll do it myself. All right. You're good. Butter throat to the rescue. Oh, wow. Shh. <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> Take that from him. Get a good angle now. Drop it. Oh no! Don't pull it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh. uh. <laughs> Pancakes inside out. Sin. Sin. Caramel apple. Caramel apple. Caramel apple. And now, if I were to turn that inside out, it'd be it'd be caramel ball with apple around it. Yes. There it is. I see apple. Hey Link, what do you think's inside those apples? Is there? Does it explode? What? <laughs> It's just full of. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Lily. Lily. There's a cap. Lily, what are we supposed to do with this? Just bite it? Yeah, take a big old bite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that! Oh man. It's so much better than a car. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> mm. Oh man. Now that I've. Chomped on it, I can't pull my teeth apart. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna need a, we're gonna need a second. Will your teeth come back apart? Mm. What else do we? How'd you get a caramel in there? How do you? What, what do you do? The little hat that you took off. Apple hat. Apple hat. Apple hat. <laughs> I love that little apple hat. How'd you do that? Isn't that just the cutest thing? <laughs> did, did you do that with that hammer? No, I know hammers and okay, no, how, no. how do you ream out an apple like that? Um, there's like a little melon baller. And you just scoop out little pieces of apple. And then if you just want straight caramel. <laughs> you can just pop it right out. I mean, good gosh, that is a lot of caramel. Oh my gosh, what are the hunky hunkies? The chunky pieces. Nuts. There's nuts in there, of course. Because of the nuts. I didn't get any nuts the first time. Look at that. I'm going nuts for this, though. This is amazing. That's crazy, man. We've made some fair food over, over the years on this show. I was like and one of those taffy places for a second. This tastes the cake. I really think, I really think people pay $8 for this once. 
I need to get my blood tested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you had a doctor's appointment right. right after this, you'd have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> have you been fasting? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> I've been eating real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Including a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Your iron levels are great. <laughs> Where's that hammer right now? How's it, how's it feeling? I think it's stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's stuck. I don't think it's making it to the next. I, th I don't think it's making it to my duodenum. What is it? Duodenum. <laughs> duodenum. My duodenum. It's not making it to the it's duodenum without some help. Well, you've sealed it off with some caramel. Wherever yeah. it is. Yeah, I'll be fine for a few weeks. It's now stuck there. This is quite fun. Oh my gosh. I mean, didn't you have fun with this one? Yeah. I'm not engaged though. Caramel apple, inside out, win. win. It's good to end on a win. Yeah, it is. You know what? Are we still invited? Were we ever invited? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a small list. So. It's a small list. Just like okay. 200 people. Just a, how many? 200 or 300. 200, okay. We didn't make the cut. 200. <sighs> yeah. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want to steal the attention. From the bride. I'll send you an from, invite so you can from send the a gift. bride. Yeah, I'll, he, yeah, I'll send a gift. He wear he always wears all white to every wedding. Just, uh, <laughs> just, just veil and everything. Know, yeah, right. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> but I don't go with him anymore. Lily, great work, great fun today. Wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, having a great time. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Jeremy from Vancouver, Canada. I'm a third degree member, of celebrating my 38th birthday with my daughter and family. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Woo! How'd they how they get in the studio? How'd they make a birthday cake with us on it? Who who let them who let them do this? Click the top link to watch us guess what weird ketchup combos the mythical kitchen has created in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. I would like to celebrate uh, my last meal a couple of years before I die. That's a much smarter option. Just to sort of, you know, have a look at what the party's gonna run like.